Diana Cooper, welcome back. Absolute pleasure to be in your space once again. So, so lovely. How have you been, lovely? Absolutely fantastic. I just think it's so exciting living now, not necessarily with what's going on now, but because we've got this extraordinary new golden age ahead of us, only 11 years before we actually move into the golden age. And as you know, it's called a golden age because literally the land itself, the people, the trees, animals, everything radiate a golden energy. And so you're in that energy of love and wisdom. What a time to be alive, hey? What a time to be alive. Wow. Yeah, nobody said it's the easiest time, but it's certainly the most exciting. It's going to be worth it. No pain, no game, I say. You know, we've got to go through what we've gone through, but to get the fruits, we definitely have. Well, we've got to talk about your drop in as well, a brand new Oracle deck, which I mean, I'm super, super excited. All your work is amazing. But the magic of unicorns, I mean, seriously, to have the unicorn energy, it's so exciting. It's so beautiful. I mean, why is this deck needed now, Diana, more than ever? Well, because the unicorns are very high frequency and they help to hold us in a high frequency. And so in Atlantis, everyone was aware of their unicorns and they helped to hold them at that extraordinary energy that they had then. And of course, we're moving into that again now. So the unicorns are back because enough people are radiating enough light to bring them in. They couldn't come in before because the frequency on the planet was too low. Mm. But it's yet another indication that the frequency everywhere is going up. So exciting. It so really it, is. And the unicorns can do so much. We don't realize. You now, this new deck is very different because although it's an oracle, it is also a journey. It takes you on a 44 step journey to enlightenment and ascension with the unicorns. So you can either just pick up one card at a time and that's your card to work on to on your ascension journey. Or you can say, right, I'm going to start at the beginning and every day or every week or whatever, I'm going to work with one card. And that will literally take you on that journey to ascension with, with them. You know, it's just such an extraordinary step, you know, how they go from meeting your unicorn to um, opening your heart center, which we were talking about just before I came on, to some of the highest frequencies there are with the unicorns working with those energies through you, lighting you up. And every single person that can light up and be a beacon and let the unicorn shine through them is helping to bring in the new golden age for everybody. So it is amazing. Can I share what happened just before we came on air? Of course you can, of course you can, yes. <laughs> just before I pressed um, the Zoom link, I tuned in and asked the unicorns for a card for you and for everybody that was watching this. And I got this card, which is the open your heart, love yourself and dare to be vulnerable. And what did you say, Chris? This is the card. And I said, thank you so much for sending exactly the same card. Now, you know, this was a pre-planned nothing. I mean, Diana didn't even know I was going to mention it, you know, and I did. I and... didn't know you were going to get that card. <laughs> no, you didn't know, no, not at all. That was, the, <laughs> that was the universe. I mean, I think that's just so amazing. I'd even picked one from the Archangel tech and I got Archangel Chamuel, the angel of the heart. So everything is synchronized to tell us that at this moment anyone who is connected with this the angels are working through you to open your heart to another level and you know when your heart is open magic happens but if you've opened the 33 petals of your heart and you've asked your unicorn to send their light from their horn into your heart incredible things can happen Really Truly can. awesome. 
it's amazing it, times. Just is. It really is. I mean, and I think, you know, it's emotional as well. I mean, in an interview, I've not really been emotional before, but just, you know, the, the confirmation of the cards, the, the unicorns coming in the way they've been coming in for me, even before I knew I was, I was receiving your deck, you know, just the energy, the power, the beauty of them. And just to know what we've got to come, you know, it's going to be such a special, special time, isn't it? Well, I think so. And I think the fact that we are we are going through the breakdown period still where the old paradigm is being shifted out. We're talking about money, banking, econ economies, jobs, everything. Anything is not in alignment with where we're going and who we are is collapsing. And of course, for some people and some countries, this is really challenging. But if we recognize that actually we are moving into something much higher and much better, and that we have all this help, including the unicorns to take us there, then it becomes a really an interesting journey, not a rough ride. Definitely, definitely. We've got our helpers there. We are in the, definitely out in force at the moment, which is so, so beautiful to, to feel, experience and to know. So, Diana, for anyone that's maybe, you know, new to you, the unicorn energies and the unicorns in general. So could you quickly explain who and what they are for me, darling? Well, actually, the unicorn energy is a pure, white, incredibly high feeling, heal, high frequency healing force that goes around the universe, touching everywhere that, where it's needed. But then they can step out of that collective energy as pure white horses with a horn of light and touch you. They carry the divine feminine energy. They are magical healers, soul healers. They can literally light up your pathway and help you in any way at all. And they are here now. And originally when they came in, they were just looking for people with lights on that they could work through. That's the very first unicorn that I met said to me. But in the 20 years since then, it's moved on incredibly. So many people have their lights on that the unicorns are coming in absolutely en masse to help us all. And every time you think about a unicorn, a unicorn is with you. I mean, people say to me, well, how do I connect with these beings? Literally, they are a thought away. You think about a unicorn and it is with you. And I just think that is just so magical. I often tell a story about, I was in the, out with my dogs and I saw this child drop a unicorn toy from its pram. The mother picked it up and said, Here's your unicorn. As she gave it to the child, this white light flashed in and touched them. And I thought, wow, that's how it works. At the moment she said unicorn, she was thinking about a unicorn. And so she opened herself up for one to touch her and the toddler. And I just thought, wow, it is magical the way they work. I love it. I love it. That story is so beautiful as well. And it is, you know, you see unicorns everywhere, you know, on social media to when you go shopping to on food items now. But, you know, just to have that symbol that the unicorn is getting everywhere is so powerful that it's kind of coming in people's consciousness, isn't it? Well, that's it. That's why. Because at a collective energy, we're ready for those. Mm. And so they go on to every T-shirt to show us that we are ready and yeah. to remind us. You know, many years ago, new healing energy was wanted on the planet. And so what happened? Everybody came in wearing blue jeans because that was the blue healing energy that was needed. And so the powers that be brought that in. I love it. Amazing. I did not even think about that, Diana. That's like, yeah, when especially when double denim as well, when Bewitch was out and things like that, extra healing energy. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, you think about these rose gold that's in now, and everybody has to have a rose gold um, phone or whatever it is, because that's a very high frequency energy of love and wisdom. And so that's coming in now to touch people. 
that's just beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And what a way to think about it as well. I mean, you know, like guardian angels, Diana, you know, the majority of people now know we do have a guardian angel with us. Now, is it similar with unicorns? Do we have like a personal unicorn with us? Yes, we do. Now, the difference is that a guardian angel, once they're with you, they stay with you forever. But the unicorns, when Atlantis went down, had to withdraw. They could not come down into the low energy that we created. And so they've withdrawn for thousands of years. And only now they're coming back to touch us again. But if you had a unicorn in Atlantis, or if you were in that golden period, that same unicorn will come back for you now. And you may recognize the energy when it comes in to touch you. You do, you definitely do. Because I mean, the energy itself, I mean, even like now when we're speaking, I'm emotional because I can feel the energy. It's so beautiful and it's just so pure, but the energy is something I've known before. It's like a friend. Ah, that's interesting, yeah. yes. It really, really well, it's interesting you say that because the first time I met a unicorn, I was sitting in the garden, typing away on my laptop, and I felt this energy behind me. And I thought, what is that? It's not an angel. And it felt this pure white. And I thought, it's a unicorn. And then it started to communicate telepathically. And I thought, right, that's what's happening. It's stunning. You just recognize at some level mm -hmm. the energy that's coming through. Definitely do, definitely do, definitely do, Diana. So, you know, with all of us, when people get their hands on, you know, the magic of unicorns. So how can we start to work with these cards, you know, to introduce those energies into our life? It's like working with any cards. Treat them as sacred. I wrap mine in a special cloth because that uh, that's a nice thing to do and it keeps them protected from any lower energies that may be around. And then when you want to tune in, you can make it into a big deal and you can light a candle if you want to and ground yourself and have a little prayer and meditation. Or you can just hold that intention and pick up your pack of cards, your deck of cards and shuffle them, thinking about your question. And as you think about your question or just your guidance that you want, then you open your spread them out and pick a card or oh, what I do is I just open them and we've got the law of grace now that's a very high frequency card it's beautiful because grace is about pure love it dissolves everything in your life and if you're thinking about offering grace or asking to receive grace then the unicorns will touch you and help it to happen. It says, be your divine essence, dissolve all in grace. And in the cards, which I th it makes again difference, with each one, there is a little visualization that you can do at the end to help you connect with that particular energy on that part of the path. And so that you can just do that, it doesn't take more than a few moments and connect more deeply into your unicorn at that point i think it's these cards are beautifully illustrated very soft and gentle very high frequency and of course giving us amazing messages and helping to heal us literally just thinking about grace at that point makes extraordinary things happen energetically for you and the unicorns can bring about all sorts of healings because at that moment you're thinking about grace and offering grace. And so it dissolves all those lower things that have been going on. It definitely does. They're beautiful. And one thing, you know, with the cards as well that I recognize straight away, like, I mean, the spiritual warrior card is, you know, the illustrations on them, you know, you've got the warrior, but then you've got obviously the fierceness of the lion, but then you've got the lamb. So you've got the kind of 
balance right there, which I saw straight away. And I was like, that's beautiful because you've got the vulnerability right there of being a spiritual warrior. But then on top of that, you know, you've got the protection of the lion, which I just thought was absolutely stunning. And the, the cards just go so deep on so, so many levels. They really, really do. And I think, like you said before, Diana, they're not just a pack of Oracle cards. They are way more than that. They're a book, really. Mm -hmm. I hmm. think to really each of us to connect with the unicorns it's it's they're just absolutely fantastic I couldn't you know think of a better word to describe them than just life-changing honestly oh oh thank you no I I hope so because I hope it's just another tool an extraordinary way of helping to bring the new age forward and to connect us into a, well our true ascension pathway and who we truly truly are mm because we are all amazing beings. We're not just this little person on the planet. And uh, it actually expands you to be your, your expanded self. Which is so lovely to be, it really, really is. And then obviously, of course, you know, people are working with their angels now more than ever, Diana. So we can work with our angels and our unicorns together, can't we? The angelic realms are the elementals, the angels, the dragons, the unicorns. And we can obviously they all work together and we all work together so they've got slightly different tasks if i'm getting into my car to go on a journey i will ask for an angelic cocoon the dragons to go in front of me and clear the path the angels to be around me protecting me the unicorns above me shining light down and making sure that everything is at the highest frequency on that journey and i find it makes a huge difference definitely does I just start you relax if you know that you're in an angelic cocoon when you're going somewhere and you've got all that that light around you oh it's so beautiful it really really is diane it really is so the process of putting the magic of unicorns you know together for you you know what's that been like hmm. it's interesting because it's i knew at once that this had to be different and that this had to be something really special that was going to help us all move forward because for every one person that moves forward other people are touched and do the same and i know that there are so many wonderful energies coming forward now and that if the unicorns work with those energies through you then amazing things happen for example if you call in a cosmic diamond wow that's gabriel's energy and that's an amazing thing just for a moment think about a cosmic diamond coming down all over you it's huge got all these facets all sparkling it's purifying you it's changing the way you're thinking about things giving you clarity and then ask your unicorn to touch it and illuminate you and as it does so the whole of the diamond lights up you may not be able to see it you may not be able to feel it but it is going to have changed you energetically and allow new things to come into your life and so each of these cards has one thing that you can do that will make a difference to you and will accelerate your ascension pathway, open up your enlightenment, help things to happen much more quickly for you on your journey to the light. Stunning, Diana, just absolutely stunning. I mean, every I knew, you know, I was looking forward to this chat and I knew it was going to be, you know, uplifting, amazing, but I just think this is more than a chat. The deck is more than a deck. You know, it's really getting that message out there to every single person, you know, just to call upon, you know, that unicorn energy, which is just so needed, but people are ready for it. I think that's the exciting time, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, that's it. Now is the time. We've only got 11 years to go to the new golden age starting. And then after that, things are really going to be moving very quickly. You know, it's, it seems fast now, but in comparison with where we're going, it's very slow right now. And we'll find that it's going to be 
ho, ho, so different. I was just looking to see, oh yes, here there's a rose gold cosmic pool. And when, you, when you're taken into the rose gold cosmic pool of wisdom and love, well, we were just talking about rose gold earlier, mm. And when and that is a pool of energy out in the universe. And when the unicorns take you to visit that and you rest and relax in that pool, and then they light it up for you. Wow. <laughs> that makes absolute magic happen. I was I don't know if I've got one for numbers, but that is, again, I'm going to talk about it anyway, because I just think it was one of the things that really touched me. And that is find your birth number, which you just take by adding the number of your date of birth and then reducing it. Find what your path is, your life path is, and then ask to go into that cosmic pool of energy because every number is a cosmic pool and it influences anything that's connected with that number. And just again, I think that's your life path rest in it and ask the unicorns to touch it and what they will do is they will bring forward all the good qualities of that number and so that we every number has a plus and a minus sign whoa they bring forward the good qualities and your life can then accelerate on the best possible aspect of your life path That's it just... sounds simple and yet it is amazing magic occurs. They're called the magic of unicorn. It's because they literally make magic happen. It's just magic. Speaking to you, Diana, and doing this and the cards, it's just pure, pure, beautiful magic energy. And, you know, I've just got to say from my heart, as always, you know, it's always such a pleasure to delve in to your work, but you have really created something super spectacular and that will people will love. And I think these cards with me, but I think everyone watching, you know, there will be with them for the whole ascension process. They really will because they're oh, yeah. that, aren't they? They really, really hmm. are. Yeah. These cards will take you all the way. Beautiful. All right, Diana Cooper. Well, thank you so much. Of course, the magic of unicorns is coming out super, super soon. And of course, thank you so much for your time, darling. All right. Oh, bless you, Chris. <laughs> You're wonderful too. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.